Here we are at the Challengers Comic Book Art Show and Sale. Starting us off on this wall, a couple of sketches done for our Halloween by Luke Smarto. And while we're not going to go over every single piece in the show, we just want to give you some highlights and let you see an overall feel of what is available. There's a great Cliff Chang piece for the cover to Doctor 13. Dan DiCarlo Moose Archie pinup from Pep with Reggie in it. Going to pull back a little bit to give you a better example of the wall. Actually, let's go a quick rundown. See just how much art there is at the show. This wall we're showcasing right here is almost all pages from comics, original comic pages laid bare before your eyes. Got a couple of rows. Everything from Halo and Sprocket to Spider-Man Loves Mary Jane to Scott Pilgrim, Nightwing, Hellblazer, Captain America, Amazing Spider-Man, Gotham Central, Wonder Woman Hecatea, Avengers, The Pulse, Detective Comics, Marvel Adventure Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man, Wasteland, Aztec the Ultimate Man, there's a lot. Pull back and let you see the wall from the other side. And then coming on the end of the original art, we've got sketches. Sketches gotten at conventions or from artist signings. John McCray, Mike Parabek. Rob Schraub, David Mack, Evan Dorkin. From 1994, here's Terry Moore. Sarah Dyer. They come back and around the corner to a very large Captain America Zen art painting by Andy Lee. Up and down to fit it all in. More sketches. A couple pieces are already gone. Some people were kind enough to let the art stay so everybody can enjoy it. Now we're going to pan around. Frame pieces over here. Combination of pages and sketches. A couple of Pete Woods Robin pages. Inked by Chicago Zone, Andrew P. Boy. Preacher page by Steve Dillon. With some amazing profanity. And a great, great rant by Hairstar. Oh, but there's me new. Hey, everybody. Hey, Maria Scott, my name's Latham. Brian Michael Bendis sketch and a Bendis page from Fire. Fire page number one. Some Adam Eve pages by Nate Belgard. Howard Porter's Justice League. Phil Hester's Foot Soldiers. Here we have some pieces donated just for the show. Alex Ross Justice page from issue 12. So cool to be able to see a Ross page up close. And again, too much reflection. Simone Bianchi, Astonishing X-Men. Bill and Cabbage, 30 Days a Night. It's really weird because it's such a heavily modeled page, yet it's so flimsy. It's just a very thin piece. And then we're going to end over on Sound Abinetti's Atomica. So there you have it. Just a small example of some things that are on display. Thanks. I take it back. We're not finished yet. We've got a couple of more frame pieces, some Hellblazer covers. This one is by Libra Viejo. Nice glare on the Glenn Fabray. Let's try to get rid of that. And then we got Tim Bradstreet. This cover is also used as a trade paperback cover, as was the Vermejo one. These are uh, nice, fully painted, or ink wash and graphite. And then what I forgot to mention before was that proceeds from the sales of the artwork go to 
a hero initiative because everyone deserves a golden age.